Welcome back to Comic Universe, the only nerd-centric thing you need in your life. DPZ rolling solo once again. And, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about some news uh, regarding Transformers, both this video and the next video. And we got some big news. I know it came out, like, sat uh, Friday, Saturday, but I was kind of busy and doing other stuff. So I decided to sit down and talk about it with you guys, because I know, being the Transformers guy that I am, and crossover guy, I, you know I had to do a video on this subject. And that's right, we are getting uh, a Ghostbusters Transformers crossover from IDW. That's right, Transformers and Ghostbusters are finally crossing over. Now if only we could get a, you know, them and Dynamite Torque together to do Ghostbusters Army of Darkness, because I want to see Ash hang out with the Ghostbusters. So this crossover is actually meant to be promotional, uh, promote, uh, promoting a new figure from Hasbro called Ectotron, which is a new Autobot that is built from the Ecto-1. Um, so yeah, it's kind of neat that they're doing this, because I remember, like, there used to be Transformer figures of, like, Star Wars, that could, um, different Star Wars characters get transformed from vehicles. There's also a series for Street Fighter, I believe. But yeah, it's nice to see that it's actually, there's actually one getting comics based on these figures. I think it's really cool that, um, we've got these figures, uh, this, and I know it's, like, typical toy promotion, but... Hey, it's cool, because this crossover is actually not only going to be an origin story for Ectotron, and yes, that is his name, but also have a legit story behind it, because the guy writing it is Eric Burnham. Eric Burnham is the writer, uh, the head writer for Ghostbusters comics. Um, whenever there is a Ghostbusters comic from IDW, it's 95% of the time Eric Burnham who writes it. He's also done some Transformers and some stuff at Marvel, but he's mo known best for uh, doing any and all things Ghostbusters. So I think this is really cool. Uh, the story is, is that a new Autobot has arrived on Earth, and he has wound up in New York and has scanned the Ecto-1. Uh, Ecto but there's also a villain in here. A villain that, the moment they, like, it's funny because when they announced the figure for Ectotron and then IDW teased, like, them possibly doing a full-on cro crossover comic with Transformers and, IDW, uh, Transformers and Ghostbusters, I made this joke on their page saying, you know, it'd be kind of funny if, if Starscream's ghost was the main villain of this comic. And sure enough, Starscream, the ghost of Starscream is in fact the villain of this comic. I mean, that makes sense, right? Starscream's, you know, the ghost of Starscream, you know, the, the unkillable spark, is the main antagonist. Like, it, it's a perfect villain for both Transformers and Ghostbusters to get together. It just makes sense. So, if it's the, he's the logic, uh, go, uh, the Starscream ghost is the logical villain. And this is going to be set in its own continuity, apparently, because, yeah, Star, you know, Starscream wasn't exactly dead, or actually, no, I think he did die in, Unic in the Unicron storyline, but that's neither here nor there. It's going to be its own continuity, much like the Star Trek Transformers crossover, so, yeah. I like how they're, do they're now doing these Transformer crossovers in, like, their own continuity, much like whenever they crossed over with G.I. Joe or something else. It would be its own continuity without any, you know, regard for the other stuff. Although I wish, you know, be a little helpful with the turtle stuff, though. And as well as the Ghostbusters, but those are kind of like, re those are kind of like too big to ignore certain continuity. Um, anywho, where was I going with this? Um, yeah, so I think it's, this is really cool. And yeah, we just had a slew of crossover news, like Transformers are crossing over with Mazinger Z in a, in a manga. We also have, um... The, anime, the TMNT Batman animated film, and the third and final Batman TMNT comic coming soon, which I did talk about on this channel. And the same day this got announced, we also had an announcement for, um, for another crossover between Archie Comics and Dynamite, which will have Betty and Veronica crossing over with both Red Sonja and Vampirella. So it's a three-way crossover between all, um, the three properties, Vampirella, Red Sonja, and uh, Archie. Yeah, Archie's getting re like really out there with their crossovers, and I'm loving it because they're like, yeah, we're doing like fun, insane stuff. Now there's another crossover I'd love to see with Archie with Army of Darkness. Archie meets Army of Darkness because hey, you had Afterlife with Archie, you had um, Archie versus Sharknado, and them teaming up with both the you know crossing over the Predator, both Predator and the Punisher at one point. Yeah, I think you can get away with him team meeting Ash. 
And you've got him right now crossing over with um, Batman 66, you know, Adam West era Batman. So, also, Dynamite. If this does well, seriously, since you now have the, the comic rights to... You now have the comic rights to uh, Mars Attacks. This is the crossover. If you get another crossover with Archie, this is the crossover I want you to do. Our Mars Attacks Archie. It's perfect. Mars Attacks Archie. That is beyond perfect. Do that, and I will, you will have every cent in my in my bank if you do that. You will have all my money if you did Mars a crossover between Archie Comics and Archie and Mars Attacks because that's just so perfect. It's so twistedly, it's so twisted and perfect. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. So a few other things I'd like to see in this crossover is like, um, I want to see Egon hang out with Wheeljack. I really want to see Egon and Wheeljack uh, hang out. I want to see them compare notes and do, uh, and have like a science moment. Seriously, if we don't get a moment with Wheeljack and e some moments with e Wheeljack and Egon, I'm going to be feel a little left out. A few other Autobot Ghostbuster interactions I want to see are like, um... I'd love to see uh, Winston hang out with Ironhide. Uh, yeah, I'd love to see Winston and Ironhide, the two old soldiers of the team. Uh, yeah, Winston and Ironhide would be a good one. Um, I'd actually like to see instead of Optimus hanging out, uh, hanging out with Vankman. I really think it'd be better if it was if it was uh, Gears. Yeah, Gears and, and Vankman because Gears is so like sarcastic and so like I'm so done with this half the time. So he would definitely be uh, done with this crap half the time. So Gears and Vankman would be perfect of them hanging out. Uh, Ray? Ah, who would be a good one for Ray? Um, maybe like Bumblebee with Ray. Yeah, Bumblebee and Ray hanging out because they're like the heart of the team. Um, they're really, yeah, they're really like the hearts of the team. So yeah, I wouldn't mind that. Um, I'd also like to see Kylie team up with RC. Yeah, Kylie and RC, the two badass women of the respective teams. Um, those would be really that would be really cool. Or Windblade with uh, with Kylie. Yeah, totally. Let's do that. Actually, be cool. Like yeah, Windblade with yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm tripping over my words here. So yeah, it also makes me wonder of what's going to be the future with Ectotron. Are they going to like keep him in this continuity, or are they going to introduce him in Transformers? Or go is he going to be part of the Ghostbusters comic continuity now? Because, yeah, the Transformers continuity is going to be rebooting itself in March. The comics and the movie, you know, the movies are already rebooting themselves, and so are the comics. And don't worry, we'll get to the, the, that news in a moment. So, yeah, it's really hard to say. If, is it just going to be, like, this fun, what, its own universe team-up? I think it's that's going to be the case. It's going to be its own universe uh, video. It's going to be its own universe comic. And hopefully we can get more out of it. Hopefully we can get uh, more out of this team, you know, this team up, because yeah, uh, Ghostbusters and Transformers, why wasn't this done sooner? It's kind of like with Star Trek and Transformers, why wasn't this done sooner? So you guys tell us in the comments below, what do you guys think of Transformers crossing over with uh, Ghostbusters? Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? What do you guys think of Ecto-1? What do you think of Starscream being the main villain, Starscream's ghost being the main villain of, of the series? And what Autobots do you want to see hanging out with the Ghostbusters? Just uh, comment below, let us know. And once again, if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Mightiest Subscribers. I'm DPZ, and on behalf of everyone here, we will see you right here once more in the universe.